Hi everyone, as requested I'm back with another section of chateaus, this time going up to 750,000 euros. Um, obviously the higher you go up in the budget, the more chateaus there are around. So this time it's not so much a case of what I've found, it's actually a selection I've made for you of uh, about 15 chateaus. So, well, let's get to it. The first chateau we have here is a chateau which is being sold in the La Chaise, Le Vicomte, which is in the 85 region. Uh, basically, it's just a domain. You also find on websites, they sometimes it's a domain, sometimes they say it's a chateau, sometimes they will say it's a house and it's a chateau. Uh, it all, it's all to do with different software depending on what the agents use. Uh, but I'll be doing videos about that, about how to find some of the actual other ones, let's say. So stay tuned for that. And, well, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Anyhow, uh, back to the chateaus. So this one, domain of 16 rooms with 700 meters square drivel space in a village called La Chaise La Vicomte in uh, Department 85. Uh, so 16 rooms, 12 bedrooms. And does it say how much land it has on here? Let's have a look. It tells you how many, how far it is away from about 15 different towns. Uh, oh, a vast plot of land of 1,700 meters square. Uh, 1,700 meters square is not massive. That's less than half an acre. But anyhow, let's have a look at the photos. Certainly has that French chateau look to it. The, what's called the Vinverge. I'm not sure what you call that in English. The, that sort of ivy plant thing. All very clean and tidy inside. Looks like well, that fireplace is well, that's a 1920s fireplace. That is. Uh, once again, we got the cast iron radiators. I can't see the big pipe in those. They might be a bit later. The actual insulation. Uh, I, yeah, there's actually fairly thin copper pipes there. Uh, copper pipes with radiators like that probably means the heating was probably done in the 60s to 70s. Oh, I like those doors. Those glazed doors. Nice feature there. Whether that's the main bedroom door or whether that's like a, a door into a bathroom, who knows. Uh, they've got PVC double glaze in here, which, well, when it comes to chateaus, you either you like or you don't like. Obviously, there's the practical side, but aesthetically speaking, doesn't really do it for me. But the whole place is looking clean and tidy, certainly. There's a revamped bathroom in there. That's a very 1990s or 1980s bath there. Kitchen seems fairly simple. Like that entrance, or I guess it's an entrance hall. Like that hall, certainly. Well, so did, well, so did the agent about it because we've got two photos of it. One which is almost straight, and which, one which is even less straight. Nice staircase, and we're back to beginning. So, so it all looks very really nice. We're actually on a price of 729,000 euros, which is, it all sounds good, looks quite good. What you don't necessarily realise looking at those photos is actually, you can see here, uh, this is actually where it's situated, not from the far from the suburb de Lune, which is very popular with the French. There's Poitiers here, there's Nantes, Nantes Air, International Airport. Nice situation if you ask me. Uh, Rossillon, but if you zoom in, I actually managed to find it, and you can see it's right in the village, Bumpf or town, and that is the chateau. So you've got a fairly main road here. I imagine the land is like something like that, possibly. So, or possibly that, not a great deal of land, and you are right in the village. So if you are looking for like the the chateau life, as everyone thinks of it, maybe it's not for you. But certainly in good condition, reasonable price, nice area. Uh, you, you're probably looking at that distance wise, less than an hour to the coast. Um, you've got not non airport, which is up here, uh, close to Saint Agnon. And so that's probably under an hour and a half, certainly, to get to an, an international airport. So certainly interesting, but it is a village place. So onwards and upwards. This chateau here, I quite like the look of this one. What I've done in this video, I've actually chosen ones uh, which either look nice or had something, uh, not so special about them, but something I thought was worth talking about. 
because admittedly up to 750 you're already getting quite a bit of choice on chateaus so this one here bring up the photos where are we we're actually 14 room chateaus of 323 meters square which actually sounds quite small so i'm guessing they've actually measured the renovated space and there must be unrenovated rooms in there at least that's how i read it uh i just want to check here quickly um da -da 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 -da. does it say the land uh did it one terrace nine bedrooms two and a half hectares so reasonable space uh, actually you can i probably guess that's pretty well all this bit down here this actual bit green bit possibly going up there i don't know got some outbuildings out the back there so that's the side of it oh the great photos oh look at these trees there's a chateau behind there okay that's more like it um a brick built, built chateau that's a bit of an unusual one that's the old dovecot oh, i was i thought that was back to the beginning then but no we're not back to the beginning yet uh some detail photos okay so fairly as the french say dans son jus which means in his juice Bit weird saying basically means it's actually well it's as it was built and as had wear and tear let's say now, are we actually interested in this boat on the fireplace because it's not necessarily being sold with the chateau nice big rooms decent floors single glazed windows once again um uh, fairly good order by the looks of it okay dated and needs some tlc definitely but generally speaking looks in quite good order uh okay we've got two flutes here i'm not sure what that l-shaped thing is in there maybe a book oh that looks all clean and tidy but look at this up here bit of a sag there and a crack that one needs some attention definitely Once again, all clean and tidy. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Yeah, there's some rooms which are livable and some which, well, they're not far off, but they're not livable. Yeah, that's even less. It might be the same room. There you go. But that's actually uh, 731,000 euros, 500. And with that, it's actually situated where? Situated down here. This is Toulouse. So Toulouse International Airport. I think it's, I think it's an international airport in Toulouse. Uh, border up the road, it's only one there, anyhow. Uh, so that's probably about two, two and a half hours of Bordeaux, probably an hour to Toulouse, maybe less. And here you go, this is where it's situated. If I bring up the video, uh, not the video, the Photoshop, that's the chateau there. Uh, I imagine that's the closest village. And if we look here, okay, so fairly rural area down there, open fields you can see. But certainly a nice looking place with scope for more. Um, you tend to find down there, it tends to be a bit of a drive to a decent sized town though. It's lots of small villages. But if you like the rural life, go for it. Next chateau, number three. This place is on the books with, with Leggett's. Uh, 660,000, 660,000, sorry. 660 meter square livable space. 18 rooms, 12 bedrooms, and uh, 7,774 7, meters square of land. Uh, so that's just under two acres. Let's have a look at the photos here. Okay, you've got a pool here. No, we got. Still got a pool. Okay, new floors in there. Uh, sandblasted beams, etc. Modern kitchen. After that, that's your choice. Do you want a modern kitchen in an old house? Do you want something a bit more classical or something more rustic? Do you want to click on the open fire? I don't know. Uh, okay, so look at those timbers. It's had a new roof on there. That's very much a standard timber job for a new roof in France uh, in the 90s through to about 2010. Um, 
don't, don't think about the fact it's actually a chateau and want to keep it in keeping, but they got a new roof. Uh, looking at this, all looks very nice from the outside, me personally. Uh, just looks like a new house inside. Well, pretty well, almost. Missing a lot of character for my taste. But like I said, that's on the market at, uh, where are we price on this? 736,700, including agency fees. No trees fees on these prices, count about 6 to 7% on top to cover the legal costs. So this one is situated in the lot, uh, lot department, which is down here. So there's Paris, there's England, obviously. Down here, and as you can see, it's actually, on the outskirts of a village, I'll just go to the satellite shot, but not much of a village. Down here, I think of villages like this, where there's actually very little. You can just, like, just drive through and close your eyes, come out the other side, and not even spot you've been through the village. But there you go, that's the chateau there. Once again, rural life. As always with French property, the closer you get to the more popular big towns, the more expensive properties. So we're looking up to 750, so most of these chateaus will be relatively rural. Uh, I'm just thinking of the closest town. I imagine not knowing the area too well down there. I imagine the closest town would be here, Salviac, uh, which will be, I don't know, 20 minutes drive probably, something like that. That's but basically there's Cahor. There's Rockamador, if you know Rockamador. There goes a little photo of Rockamador coming up. Lovely place, if you haven't been there, go and see it. There's Sala Ganada. So basically, m almost midway between Gahor and Sala Ganada. It's a quite a nice area. In fact, if you ask me, very nice area. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Um, before we go on to this next one here, a lot of you have actually been asking me to give more details about the areas, etc., etc. To be perfectly honest, um, I'm not... Well, I'm an estate agent, but I'm not selling these houses, so I'm not going to go too much of a sales talk for each one of these agents. I'm just comparing the chateaus as such. <coughs> On to another one. This is actually a very interesting one, I find. Bit of a catch. Here you go. A very interesting looking chateau. In fact, it doesn't look quite like a chateau. It's more like a folly or outbuildings to a chateau or something like that, but it's certainly a very interesting looking place. We was actually looking at this property here, along with uh, other, two or three other ones, which has built up ideas for uh, more videos for you, where we'll be talking about alternatives to chateaus. So, like I said, subscribe and all that stuff. So, interesting building here, very architectural details. Pretty well on one, one floor, though. But look at that from the inside. Wow. Okay, you either love it or you hate it. I don't know if I want to live in it, but it's certainly got a well factor. I'll get onto a bit of detail in a minute about why it's looking at like this. It's all these painted beams, etc. All very well up, looked after. Single glaze though. The old style kitchen. This is actually pretty well a museum, this place. So that's why it's actually, I don't think it's actually a used kitchen. And this is one of, there's several properties in France, what they call the Les Maisons des Illustres, which is actually the illustrated houses. And you see, well, that's actually more of a, I think that's more of a flat up there for someone looking after the property. And that's one of the museum rooms. But you have these great rooms there I was talking about. There you go, back to these ones. But, as I said, that's the catch. Uh, they say it's a chateau, if you ask me to start with, it's not a chateau. I don't think it's a chateau. It's actually Chateau Commons, maybe, or a folly or something like that, but it's not a chateau. On the market, it's 744,000 euros, which could be argued with the detail inside. Um, this is where it's situated. Basically, there's Rennes, there's Le Mans, Rennes International Airport, non International Airport. Uh, not sure if there's an airport at Le Mans or not, quite possibly. And it's set, situated in that triangle. So let's zoom in. There's Segre d'Anjou Bleu. And this is the chateau. So I'm going to go to the video, uh, not the video, I keep on saying video, don't I? To the satellite shot. This is the property. Which, when you first look, you go, wow. Oh, there's another little chateau there as well. Which actually probably back up my idea. Yeah, go, there's a chateau there. 
and this is over here so I think this is probably more the commons the old stable blocks and that sort of thing the land is being sold the land is being sold the property is being sold with 7,700 meters square of land and that's not that much now if you notice here this is actually the property we're looking at but there's this property here and there's this property here and well I'm, I'm guessing that's probably about not even 10 meters between the two of them there probably like so, seven eight meters something like that it's very close neighbors and when i actually took a step further i went on to a site called geoporti where i can bring up lots more details this is the land registry plan and literally just close that there blink this is the property and if you actually check this out this correspond this bit here corresponds to the size of the land so you have half that barn there and then it's split right down the middle between two of them so although it's a lovely building i'd be worried about the proximity of neighbors for if i'm putting seven hundred and fifty thousand euros into property plus work having a neighbor eight meters away from me would well wouldn't turn me on so as always with these chateaux especially in the lower prices you need to check out where they are uh, unfortunately most french agents won't give you addresses like that especially in the higher prices um but make sure you know where they are before you come running over if you're coming over from the states or coming over from the uk talk to the agents try and get them to give you at least a good idea where they are or show you a commercial plan or a land registry plan or a satellite shot or something so next one lovely looking place here um this one is in saint juan de torbeville which I think is up in higher, norm higher Normandy. Well, it's actually Normandy officially now, but before we used to have Lower Normandy and Higher Normandy. And so let's have a look at this property here. So on the market at 745,000 euros, 15 rooms, seven bedrooms, 480 meters square of land, uh, sorry, 480 meters square of house. And does it say about the land here? Two hectares. So like I said, two hectares if you're not looking to actually have horses like that two hectares is fine let's have a look inside i love this site but the actual always bugs a bit on the photos to start with so very original i love those tiles there and you've got lots of detail there you've got the old sculpted fireplace there the old doors um or double doors as well actually yeah, okay we're on the same room for the third time there's, I guess, is a kitchen. Stairwell, oh, lovely looking stairwell there. Lovely doors, lovely features here. Here you go, you can see it from the other side here with the actual uh, outbuildings. You've got a swimming pool there. I hope that's a swimming pool, not actually a fictive one to put in for giving an idea. Old radiators once again. But in fact, those are, cast iron radiators are probably the best ones. Admittedly, the old cast iron piping isn't the best ones if they're plumbed into copper piping and a decent heat uh, boiler they're quite long to heat up to start with but after that's a fairly constant heat it's like the old houses with the stone walls but this certainly looks all clean and tidy uh, is that them trying to clean plaster or is that uh, the agent trying to hide something i don't know part timber which is very typical for the normandy area so lovely looking place uh, I do get a bit of photos plan there but not a very good one but basically yes uh, 745,000 euros and where is it situated yep this is Le Havre oh it's actually severe there Le Havre and there's Rouen uh, so you got Cherbourg you got Le Havre uh, Dover and Calais are up here somewhere Calais so it'd be great for actually coming over from the, from the uk for example so i haven't actually managed to locate it in detail this one of the few ones i haven't um but basically it's yeah close to the Le Havre and Cherbourg. great for getting back to the uk uh i wouldn't necessarily say commuting because it's a ferry crossing from there um but certainly if you want to go back to the uk on a fairly regular basis it could be a really nice property onwards and upwards so another chateau here 20 rooms 13 bedrooms 580 meters square uh of buildings uh, building space i'll get this right in the end 
580 meters square of livable space on the market at 750,000. Uh, so basically this property here is being sold with seven hectares. Let's have a look at the photos. So slate roof, fairly typical style, French chateau. All looking very clean and tidy from the outside. Are we going to get some inside shots? Oh, we've got the actual frog pond. We've got a well. Oh yes, we have got some inside shots at last. Um, all looks very clean and tidy. Once again, big cast iron radiators. Admittedly saying that they do look slightly more recent, those ones. The nice detail on the actual balustrade there. Has a very 1950s feel to this place. Oh, and we even see what the agent looks like on there. I don't even see that on the photo. We've actually got the lady's head sticking in the photo. And if I was uh, before taking a photo of a nice fireplace, I'd have moved the plastic blocks. But there you go. Fairly basic kitchen, yes, so they've got actually a big posh uh, wood burner. Does make it brilliant. And this room it looks more untouched. This one too. Nice stairwell. Everyone's tempted to do those photos, but they're never very nice, are they? Uh, another room here. Another room which needs work on it. You can see the actual wallpapers have been partly stripped off. Yeah, so quite a bit of work in different rooms. There's rooms which have been done, rooms which haven't been done. All nice level photo. Get your angles straight. That's nice, yeah. It'd be nice if the French agent started to actually learn how to take straight photos. Details, details, details. Which are all very nice, but do we need them on the main website? That's interesting, that, that fence down the middle there. Hmm. Old outbuilding, another well, lane, and blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And a walled garden over there, looks of it. So, have I actually located this one? Well, you can see here, there's Paris, there's Clermont-Ferrand, Limoges, Poitiers, Dijon, Lyon. So, a bit in the middle of nowhere. Saint Roche, and as you can see here, yes, I've actually located it. So, there you go, on the edge of this small village here, which is on the edge of this small town. There's the chateau. But looking at this wall here going across, I get very much the impression that is not with it. So the chateau, you have this bit of the building, you have that bit of the building. No, actually saying that, think about the photos. Look, I'm coming back to photos. Well, wait, didn't... Uh, where are we? Quickly scroll through. I know what I'm looking for, don't we? Yeah, you see this one, here's the wall here. It's taken, we've got the most part of the actual building. So you look at this, there's the wall, there's the most part of the building, so that side is with it as well. I'd guess probably down this line, something like that. And then you've got woodland behind. In the countryside, that's that wall garden there. Like I said, close to the town. Quite an interesting buy, needs some work on it, but certainly an interesting property in what could be a fairly quiet area, but with an easy distance of uh, Bourges, Clermont-Ferrand, etc. Next one. This is actually is a chateau um, dating back to the 18th century. It's down south. Um, these well, it's quite typical style down there. I just don't find it very impressive myself. Not the outside, anyhow. Um, it's basically square cubes they used to build down there. Um, well, they're building square cubes these days for houses, so maybe they were actually ahead of the times. Anyhow, so look at the photos. Okay, it has a gate. Nice entrance hall there. Okay, once again, all clean and tidy. Cast iron radiators there. Um, looks like double glazed windows. Dining room, same room, a bedroom. Me personally, I think that, that actual wallpaper is a bit overkill. But horses for courses, as they say. Okay, 
uh, yes okay we've got cast iron radiators that is double glazed windows reusable floors get the old original floors there revamp the bathroom that's a more traditional bathroom let's say bit of land outside and a bit of junk so 750,000 euros and that is situated down to the south here right down towards Toulouse between, uh, was it? Was it east of Toulouse and north of Carcassonne and that's just here so the main town is here which is the town of Castres and the chateau isn't very far away so quite a good situation when it comes to towns um, I just found it weird you've got this housing estate here and then it's down here but other than that all looks good and that pool I would guess is with it and that land as well in the garden there so certainly an interesting property next one uh, this is actually I'm not sure if it's a chateau or demeure or what but as mentioned earlier I'll be doing videos about how to decipher the different styles uh, and the alternative uh, purchases to chateaus but I thought this one was certainly worth a look so this is situated on the eastern side of France not a massive collection of photos here but fairly 1930s possibly style but certainly very regal interesting building there which I imagine is a chicken coop look at the number of porcelain chickens they've got on there so not a great deal of photos but I have actually managed to locate it see here there's Geneva there's Lyon if you actually zoom in Bourgogne Bress is there Macon and we zoom in zoom in zoom in go to satellite and it is just here so if you actually go for a street view that's the property just there so not the best environment but might interest someone next one yes okay right this one this one is actually near Obanas in the 07 which I can't remember where 07 is for a moment it's down south I'm pretty sure yeah it's down south towards Valence and so 500 meters square level space 8 bedrooms 2 bathrooms 1.82 uh, hectares of land which is let's say 4.5 acres asking price 635,000 uh, this actually looks like a very nice property I'm going to just go back to the main, first main photo I'll find it there you go this looks like a very nice property as I was saying and nice view out the front door but we'll get back to that a bit later a uh, little billiard hall another stairwell with one of those shots interesting stairwell though some reasonable looking rooms that's an old door there that's why it looks all cracked up reminds me or well, makes me think of the actual old French films The uh, Droit de Mon Père all looks well looked after a bit old but well looked after let's say but coming back to this view here this one helped me locate it so what I did you see this up here there's a round, big round like church tower type thing here and so it helped that helped me locate it and it's not as impressive as all that finally here's Obanas the town of and it says it has a domin uh, dominating vi view over the town of Obanas but if we actually go on to Obanas and go on to the satellite once again uh, somewhere around here if I can find it is that round tower where's it gone can't find it now 
great on much of video. Oh, there you go. There it is. There's that round tower. Well, it's actually a hexagonal tower, but it looks round. And in front of that round tower, in that photo, pumph, there's a big long building. Big long building. So that gave me the angle almost to look at. So I just carried on over. Okay. And there you have it. There is the chateau. Um, what you also have here is the communal sports ground. You have the communal tennis courts. Here you have the Obanas Billiard Club. And I think I just saw the, uh, the Obanas Cycling Club. So that's all commune owned. So you enter that, so you're getting noise and all that all over the weekend. Uh, that's a gymnasium. This is an industrial block down here. Um, unless you like doing sport, I wouldn't choose that one. Shame, really, because it does look like a quite nice place. Oh well, well, next one. Well, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> this one is on Chalon sur Saône. Uh, which is in the Bourguignon countryside. Yes, like the beef Bourguignon. That's where it comes from. And if you look at this property here, but well, just let, yeah, we'll save the best for last. Uh, the windows have been bricked up. Some of the doors have been bricked up. Others have been actually blocked up. And it is very much. Oh yes, we have a nice painted beam here where the paints really have gone but we also have a smashed in fireplace here uh, yes we have a detail fireplace of a staircase yes we have 200 year old graffiti um interesting building yes it's got like almost got a moat but 650,000 500 meter square uh, building, eight rooms, five bedrooms. Well, those are the classes, but bedrooms. Uh, and it has five hectares of land. Um, they can almost drop a zero off that, if you ask me. Maybe not, that's pushing a bit too much, but I don't know, 100 to 200,000, not 650. And you can see this is where it's situated, right on the eastern thing. So this is a relatively cheap area of France as well. And if you zoom in, oops, we'll go to satellite. Where's the actual village? There's the village itself. So you can see it's like a one horse village. And there's the chateau. So if you actually go to Street View, we can just about get there. That's the village. Right, sort of, like I said, cycling past, close your eyes, you won't see the village. And that's the chateau. And you can see here the mops are dried out as well in this photo, and this was in 2024. So 650,000 euros for that? I don't think so. So let's hope this one's better. Oh yes, this one I like, because it's unusual. It's almost like some sort of uh, film setting type chateau. Something was actually been built just to make a horror, horror film. Or a fantasy film. Or you almost like imagine pole dark running up there or something like that. But this is actually situated down up towards Rodez down here. The actual chateau was pretty well rebuilt but not finished in the 1970s which might explain some of the actual details as it is. But certainly a very interesting building. Might be a bit bit dark in some rooms, but if you like the medieval feel, you see on this hill top here, uh, I don't think you quite see it there, it's actually a volcanic pick, pick or spike sticking up there. Reminds me almost of the old Playmobil castles, <laughs> looking that way. But certainly I find it a very interesting building. So plenty of character and features in there. And a few cobwebs. And why they had a black and white face in the end, I don't know. But certainly, 
so that's on the market at um, da, 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 uh, 650,000 euros uh, it has 3,500 meters square of land which isn't massive uh, 500 meters square of uh, property and that is situated as I said down towards Rodez and up let's actually zoom in here this is the actual village itself with the actual chateau there and that's that volcanic spike or pick whatever you want to call it sticking up there Certainly an interesting property. Where it will suit everyone, not sure. I'd quite like to see it. But anyhow, next one. This one here is, well, I can't remember this one is now. Uh, this is in uh, Corres, in, the, in Department 19. And so, another, this is Neo Gothic style chateau. Nice view out there. The photos aren't that brilliant, they're quite speculative, but it certainly looks in quite good order. Uh, single days again, but like I said, when you get these sort of chateaus, it's quite often the case. The floors look in good order, almost too good. Maybe they've been redone, I don't know. Once again, another agency doesn't do too many photos. Um, just one little thing, I mean, look at that, it's not too wide as it comes to chateaus, so it's almost a family size property once again. Uh, well, saying that, it's a 620 meters squared of all space, which is pretty big for a family. 23 rooms, <laughs> okay, big family. And this is being sold with uh, two hectares of land, and how I managed to locate this one. Well, it's actually situated down here, this is Limoges, uh, Brive de Gaillard, Limoges International Airport, so that's good. And this is actually situated, I think, on the edge of a village, which kind of situation. Oh, yeah, this is the one where they actually said, in a peaceful countryside woodland situation with no near neighbours. And there you go. Well, that's pretty close, that's pretty close, that's pretty close. And how close to a village does the countryside go? But it's certainly an interesting place, isn't it? I quite like the look of it. Not too sure about this down here. Looks like a bit of a messy farm, so that need to be checking out. Can we get a street view? Got a street view of this bit, certainly. Um, big barn. Oh, it's just a building site. Okay. And the chateau, the chateau's just behind there. See? I don't think we can up here, can we? No, we can't go up there. But once again, with village houses, you've got the communal playgrounds there. So there will be a bit of noise, kids screaming. Not that I'm against that, but some people might be. But certainly, once again, another interesting place. So, on to the next one. Uh, this place is actually, I don't know if it's a chateau once again or not, but it's, they say it's a chateau. Just looks a bit too recent for a chateau for me. But sometimes chateaus were knocked down and rebuilt in a more modern style and still kept the name of a chateau. Because if you actually look at this one, it looks very sort of 1920s to me. But certainly nice space, you've got even like the terrace on each each room here, balcony and terraces. Quite like the idea of that. If you want to make a bed and breakfast for example, you know, each bedroom has its own terrace. Could be nice. Decent floors, uh, fireplaces once again. Uh, this one has what we call survitrage, which is actually a sing single glaze and they put a, a secondary glaze in onto it. Uh, the big radiators with a big pipe in again, so probably the 1930s, 1940s, 50s, heat and insulation. A almost secret door there. Kitchen, very simple, but probably authentic. Entrance hall. So it's all there. I think it's seen better days, but it's all there. Oh, I remember this old this wallpaper stuff. Yeah, I used to do that in the 1970s. So it needs some updating. Uh, if that's, I'm guessing the wiring probably needs updating as well due to the actual decor. If that's the condition it's in, yeah, you actually you just see that here. There's a pull string there. I think pull strings haven't been used in France for many years. Don't know why, but they haven't. And this bathroom, yeah, so that looks a bit, well, it's very much French wiring. 
um, pre this is actually a formed metal shower cubicle so it's ripping out and replacing with something half decent uh, another bathroom there bathroom with a wood burner that's why it's reassuring when you have a wood burner in the bathroom another kitchen oh coming back to that there that radiator and just make out some detail on there I think this is actually old sculpted radiators which is a really nice feature that's landing up there what looks like a nice set of stairs look at this I think it's probably, probably like 1920s 1930s revamped in the 70s the wiring has been done to a certain extent but it looks like it's got battery in there so not the best nice outlook around it and yeah so that's on the market with four hectares of land 640 meters square of livable space and the price where's the price where's the price 682,000 euros and where is that situated that is situated just here so like I said there's Limoges there Tours Dijon fairly quiet area of France and I've actually located this since I've located the actual chateau there you go so actually looking at this yeah this is actually quite something quite common you see these buildings here these are the old stable blocks and all this probably of some previous chateau which was like 18th century or whatever uh, might have been knocked down or destroyed in the revolution or something like that and this is the new chateau which is built afterwards so that's quite common so yeah that would tally in on to the next one oh, I like this one this is actually near Brie in Corres again 690,000 euros asking price 500 meters square livable space 15 rooms and 10 bedrooms let's have a look at the room the photos so certainly nice country aspect I was saying that was one side and the village aspect to the other Oh, I love those sort of chateaus, the old wooden chunky ones where they've actually, you can breathe the actual atmosphere, let's say. Fairly recent radiant, well fairly recent radiant, probably about 50 years old, but compared to the others. Fireplaces are nice, like all the wood panelling myself, that detail, roof de the ceiling detail there, that's nice. That's a bit more boring, but you always get rooms like that. Oh, I like this one. It's got that well factor. I don't particularly like that room, but I can... You know what I mean? It's got the... You look at it and you go, yeah, wow. You never actually use it like that. And some real old features here, which are really nice. Okay, need some work on it. But certainly a nice project. Oh, there's a good example of French electrics as they go by. That's probably the actual servant's bell. That's a light switch with a metal cover. And that is a plug, which is running off the light switch, by the way. That's up in the tower. That's up in the tower. Got a detail there. Some outbuildings. Quite a few outbuildings by the looks of it. Yeah, so I'm guessing you've probably got at least that, that and that. I like that. And that is situated, like I said, in Corres. And have I located it or not? Yes, by the way. So it's a bit. There's Paris, Limoges Airport, Brive la Gare. There's an actual airport in Brive la Gare as well. Not, but Limoges is very much an international airport. It's quite one of the big ones in France. And this is situated just outside the village of Chabrinac, or in, just on the outskirts of the village of Chabrinac. Here you go. There's the chateau there. That's the outbuildings and the land around there somewhere. I like that one. I could be tempted with that one. There's a laundry in there, which is nice. What is that? Breathe, Limoges. Nice area. Uh, you're actually in Corres, but you literally just have the border from Dordogne. So, okay, you don't get the wow factor for being in Dordogne. But what is the wow factor for Dordogne? Actually, prices are getting cheaper and cheaper there now. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Oh, this one here, yeah. I actually like this one to start with. Once again, it's one that I looked at and went, wow! And actually, when I checked it out, I went, 
Mm. But I'll let you know in a bit. It's certainly a nice building here. Oh, very medieval feel to it. That, I like that courtyard there. I quite like properties with courtyards or that, that enclosed area. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I just imagine it's almost fairy tale going down there. What was that chateau? It was in um, in the first Willow, in the original Willow film. It had like a door, a big gate like that, didn't it? I think all the trolls came out and did all that stuff. Um, don't think much of the kitchen. That's not. <laughs> that's very chateau like. Um, all very modern in here. And obviously, you can see it's some sort of museum. But yeah, certainly an interesting building. Uh, what did they say? Yeah, 273 metres square, which isn't massive. But again, if you look at that, that's just the wall there pretty well. So the building's that. As far as I can tell. And 3,585 metres square of land, which is less than three quarters of an acre. Or just between three quarters and an acre, which isn't massive. And that's what got me thinking. For 690,000 euros, I'm going, hmm... So I managed to locate it, partly due to because it is actually a museum. So it's over between Angers and Tours, you can see here. Close to Luden. And if you look at the, video, uh, the satellite, I keep on saying video, I'm going to be saying video all through this video. Uh, when you look at it, this is the actual property. So in fact, what you're buying is that wall and that building there this is the rest of the chateau and it's not included and i don't think there's outbuildings included either so i imagine you probably have something like like that so all of a sudden it's not as interesting not that price anyhow on to the next one. Oh, this one here i'll put in because I don't think it'd be a brilliant place to live in, but I just found it's really interesting. This is down in Laveur, which is, as far as I remember, down south. Uh, it's actually a fortified chateau, so very old chateau, and it's only got 4,330 metres square of land, which is a decent acre. But it dates from the 12th to 13th century. Um, how much land do they say? How much property? 400 meters square of property, nine rooms, has a swimming pool, and one bathroom, and five bedrooms. But it's certainly, if you like the history side of chateaus, this is very much history. Twelfth or thirteenth century, as I was saying. Oh, the swimming pool goes, it's a minor affair, is it? It's a plunge pool. Out of ground as well, but looks of it. So, if you want to live life as a medieval knight, you can do it here. Saying that, having acro jacks in the fireplace with some wooden clamps isn't too reassuring. Um, some major stuff needs to be done there. <laughs> that's, <laughs> if that's rock or stone or whatever those two wood clamps aren't going to do a great deal <laughs> but well there you go um yeah well, certainly interesting property i think i need to get rid of all the actual old style museum stuff in there which no one wants and i'm not too sure what that is and i think there's some get an estimate done on that fireplace but on that could be an interesting place uh, what price are we at 690 you're probably about at least 50,000 for that fireplace but I'm just looking at it from here possibly even more if all the things supporting up going up from it but anyhow certainly an interesting property uh, need to have a look at that fireplace so. and that is situated down south between Carcassonne and Alby just this is Toulouse so Toulouse International Airport so good situation, good connections, and certainly like very much the south of France. And let's have a look at it. There you go. There it is. The actual chateau itself. I guess that's a water tower. And little farm hamlet down here. 
Um, who likes dungeons and medieval living? Or maybe one of those new Viking fan people. I want to live a life as a Viking in the south of France. But anyhow, there you go. So, yes, there is quite a bit of choice uh, on chateaus uh, in France, 150,000. But be very careful, because they do come with often with little glitches, let's say. Um, so there you have it. I'll be working on other videos on this. I won't be doing any more price increases because going up to a million euros, there's plenty of choice. Uh, like I said, I'm not here to sell that, the houses, the chateaus for the other agents. Uh, but I'll be doing other videos about chateaus and alternatives to chateaus and things around chateaus. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye.